Progression and customization are key to the For Honor experience. Our game offers tons of options to the player that will impact the gear, appearance, and abilities of their heroes. In For Honor, each of the 12 heroes have dedicated progression and customization options. There are two main avenues to progress and customize a hero. First, at the end of each match, players have the chance to loot gear on the battlefield. Each item comes with its own gear stats, gear rank, and appearance. You can also unlock gear items in scavenger crates. Secondly, XP is awarded and used to level up a selected hero. By leveling up, the hero gets access to more feats and customization options. Once you enter the customization menu, you immediately have access to the gear of your selected hero. There are six different gear parts. Chest, helm, and arms for the armor, hilt or handle, blade or head, and guard for the weapon. From this panel, you can quickly equip or swap gear items that you have looted on the battlefield, dismantle the ones that you don't want to keep, and upgrade or change their look. Each gear item comes with positive and negative gear stats that affect specific characteristics of the hero, such as damage, defense, or max stamina. It's always a trade-off. A specific gear item will boost one or two characteristics at the cost of one or two others, so it's more about adapting a hero to your playstyle than anything else. The Abilities panel is where you can customize gameplay elements of your hero. Here you have access to four different categories. Feats are the special powers available in Dominion, Skirmish, and Elimination game modes. Feats can be equipped in the Heroes menu or in the game lobby before each battle. To start, each hero has access to four feats. The eight remaining ones will be unlocked by leveling up. Executions are the finishing moves that players can trigger when they victoriously end their fight with a heavy attack. Two of them can be equipped at the same time. The longer they are, the more health they give your hero back when performed. To start, each hero has access to two executions while the others are unlockable with steel. Emotes are taunts that are unique to each hero. They don't impact gameplay. To start, each hero has access to four different emotes. The remaining ones can be unlocked with steel, and four of them can be equipped at the same time. Effects are special visual effects, such as a lightning strike, that can be equipped to provide additional flavor to an existing move and don't impact gameplay. Some can be unlocked with steel, while others, a special reward, Ubisoft Club for instance, or in bundles. Now let's move to the appearance panel. Here, players can select what visual elements they want to customize. Outfits are special sets of customizations that give you a kick-ass look right away. There are four types of outfits, Battle, Elite, Mythic, and Reputation. In Traits, players can select the gender for some heroes as well as their skin color. In Head, Right Shoulder, Left Shoulder, Back, and Standards, players can choose the paint pattern, engraving, and symbol that will be displayed on the corresponding body or attire part of their hero. In Ornaments, players can select and equip a specific ornament to be displayed on their helmet. In Material, players can choose the base material of their armor. In Colors, players can choose the three base colors of their attire for when they are Defenders and Attackers in team-based modes, or Neutral in Duel and Brawl. More customization options will be unlocked by leveling up. With all the different gear items, body parts, patterns, symbols, engravings, and outfits. You will have tons and tons of different possible combinations in For Honor to make each of your heroes play and look totally unique.